Hello, in this video we'll examine PID configuration and control on ACS-180 and ACS-380 drives. Let's get started. Both the ACS-180 and ACS-380 drives allow for PID control and include the following. External set points with programmable sources, internal set points with programmable sources, PID macro, and monitoring using a remote control panel or keypad. The quickest way to begin configuring drives for PID control is using the PID macro selectable with the 9604 macro select parameter. This will configure many of the drive's I.O. functions accordingly. Please refer to these diagrams of the ACS-180 and ACS-380 control terminal layouts when the PID control macro is selected. These are located in the drive's firmware manuals. When configured for PID control macro, ensure that start-stop is wired into DI1. You can freely select between up to three different desired internal set points using digital inputs 2 and 3. Digital input 4 acts as a constant speed or frequency selection. In this video, we'll wire and configure AI2 for use with our process feedback device. Once wired, the following parameters must be programmed for the PID loop. Ensure the entire parameter list is programmed and assigned the desired process values. In our video, we will be using values of 35, 68, and 92 for internal set points 1 through 3, along with an initial gain of 5, initial integration time of 5 seconds, and a derivation time of 0. Lastly, we'll use a set point min and max of 0 and 100, respectively. Ensure the drive is set to remote control mode. Select the desired internal set point with digital inputs 2 and 3. We'll start with an initial set point of 35 by energizing DI2 and ensuring DI3 is de-energized. Give the drive a start command with digital input 1. The drive will increase its output as it ramps toward its internal set point. In our example, AI1 will be used as process feedback. When we increase it, it represents an increasing change in load in the system. Note that when the process feedback becomes greater than the process set point, the drive output decreases until it stops. Energizing DI2 and DI3 in various combinations will apply the other two internal set points to the process. Selecting a process set point that is greater than the current process feedback will cause the drive's output to ramp up again. Use the process displayed here to tune the PID loop and tighten the accuracy of control within the process. Ensure derivation time is eliminated by setting 40.34 equal to 0. Next, set 40.32 gain equal to 1 and 40.33 integration time equal to 20 seconds. Start the system. If it is sluggish, continue these steps. If response is satisfactory, then skip the remaining steps listed. Increase 40.32 gain until either the process feedback or the motor frequency or speed becomes unstable or continually oscillates. Decrease 40.32 gain until oscillation stops. Record the 40.32 gain value. Next, multiply the recorded 40.32 gain value by 0.5 and program the product into the 40.32 gain parameter. Decrease 40.33 integration time until the process feedback or the motor frequency speed becomes unstable or continually oscillates again. Increase 40.33 integration time until oscillation stops. Record the 40.33 integration time value. Next, multiply the recorded 40.33 integration time by 1.3 and program the product into 40.33 integration time parameter. When all this is complete, the speed regulator in the drive will now be tuned to deliver stable yet responsive PID control. As general troubleshooting, please follow these steps if you experience undesirable operation. 
For an even more dynamic setup, including the use of externally wired setpoint commands and sleep and wake functions, please see the following parameters example. Thank you for your attention and for your use of ACS 180 and ACS 380 series drives. 